from the first room and today I'm going to be giving you five sweet ass tips on how to care for black neon tetris. Ciao! If you have not been here before, please subscribe, like it, share it, and if you've got any comments, bang them in down below. I'm more than happy to answer any questions. That is enough for the jibber jabber. Let's get on looking at this Black Neon Tetras. Alright, the Black Neon Tetra. Before we go into this tip video on how to keep them or how to keep them well, I just want to say that I really like the Black Tetras. Um, I have put them in my top five Tetra species. I have a video of that which we will link up above. So I'll give you a bit of a quick overview of the fish and then we'll get into some, um, some advice on how to keep them. So they stay nice and small, you're only looking around about four centimeters, which is better. I was gonna say 100 mil, but wait a minute, that is 100 mil. It's getting late, yeah, it's 100 mil. Um, so they're very, very peaceful and they do like being in a school. Uh, generally speaking you'll get four maybe five years out of them if you look after them well and they hang predominantly around the mid to mainly the top of your aquarium um, they scatter the eggs around the place if you're looking at spawning them you can do that it's fairly easy to do it i know several people that have done it uh, i personally myself have not but they aren't the hardest uh, tetras to spawn in fact from my understanding they're one of the easier tetras to spawn uh, it's really easy to look after them, they are really hardy and they are definitely a good beginner fish which I'll go a little bit further into later in on the video. Um, nice and easy pH levels between sort of 5.5 and 7.5 so it's nice and simple, it's not too strenuous and your general generic temperature range sort of lower 23 type temperature up to around 27, 28 that type of thing. Um, so they're, they're fairly hardy fish, the parameters are nice and open, uh, they're easy to feed, they're omnivores, so they've got a lot of good stuff going for them. Right, let's get into the tips on the best way of keeping them. Right, my first tip for keeping the black neon tetras is keep them in a group. Do not keep them in a group of three, do not keep them in a group of four, do not keep them in a group of three black neons and three cardinals and four pristellas. Keep them in a really good size group. Seriously, if you can fit 10 of them in your aquarium, do that. If you reckon you can get 20 of them in there, do that as well. They will behave so much better when they have more numbers and they're cheap as chips. They're very inexpensive, so there's no real excuse to uh, keep them in ones and twos and threes but they do so much better when they are in a group they're really really cool fish when they're bunched up and they're shoaling really nicely together and i would seriously recommend if you can get 10 15 in your tank absolutely do that they are they're really quite wonderful when they are they're grouped up together a little shimmer through them and a little black line absolutely beautiful so that would definitely be my first tip is actually keep them in a really good size shoal Tip number three is feed them well. Don't expect them to thrive on just flakes. They will live on just flakes, so you can feed them just flakes, but seriously, give them a bit of variety. Uh, frozen blood worms go really well with them. If you can get some live white worms, they'll demolish them. Uh, Daphnia, like water fleas, they'll go crazy on that. Um, even if you're doing frozen brine shrimp or live brine shrimp, they will go absolutely burko on it. And that right there is the key to really, really keeping them healthy, is feeding them up on some exquisite, lovely live and lovely fresh food. Um, or frozen if you can't, but there's nothing wrong with the frozen. They will, they will love you for it and you'll seriously get the return out of putting a little bit of extra time and effort into the decent feeding. Like so I'm not saying that they won't go okay on flakes, but if you really, really want them to, to sparkle for you and you know turn up basically, feed them on a bit of live, feed them on a bit of frozen and um, they'll be really happy with that for you. All right, so the black neons prefer sort of soft acidic water. Um, they can go slightly harder and stuff like that, but if you can 
when I say they can go, they're, they're tolerant of it, but if you can bring their water down nice and soft and acidic, they are going to treat you really well. If you can give them a bit of a black water type environment, I know it's not everybody's cup of tea, um, but they're gonna go even better. Uh, a little bit of peat in your filter or possibly in your substrate, uh, a little bit of wood going through your aquarium, uh, maybe some other various botanicals, some leaves, that sort of stuff, that's just gonna bring the bring the water down a little bit, make it a bit more acidic. Um, the neons themselves, they're gonna absolutely love you for it, and I tell you, there is nothing more sensational than seeing a shoal of tetras of any sort, or basically any fish, sort of coming through black water from behind, like bits of wood or what have you, and kind of just coming through together. It looks so natural, it looks phenomenal, and um, I personally absolutely love it, so. If you can give them some sort of soft acidic water with a little bit of uh, tannins into it, um, they'll definitely look after you if you can do that for them. Tip number five for successfully keeping black neon tetras, keep the water clean. Uh, the old saying of you're not keeping fish, you're keeping water is so true with pretty much any fish, but in particular these guys as well. If you look after the water, they will definitely look after you. Um, it's fairly simple to do a water change every week or every, even every other week could be enough. But please make sure you look after your water. Uh, I've said it before multiple times and basically talking about any fish. Like I said, remember that you're keeping water, not keeping fish. And if you keep the water good, then the fish will look after you as well. So my advice would definitely be to try and keep your water nice and clean. I'm not talking about nice and like gin type clear. But so your, so your parameters are uh, you know, low nitrate, no ammonia, no nitrite. And as a bit of an added bonus, give them plenty of swimming space. These guys love darting around, they are active swimmers. So if you completely crowd up their aquarium full of plants and stuff like that, not saying that plants are a bad thing, but if they've got nowhere to really swim, you're not gonna get the best out of them. So if you can, give them some good open space, but then also give them some shelter or provide some sort of area for them to dart away. We're definitely gonna do better with them than if you leave them open like I unfortunately have at the moment, or if you put far, far too much planting or wood and stuff like that within your aquarium. Um, they do really well on a darker substrate, it kind of brings out, um, brings out their, their natural sort of coloration um, and if you can get a bit of a decent flow going through them as well, because like I said, they are very active swimmers. So if you've got a decent flow running through them, then uh, it's running through the aquarium, not through them. If you've got a decent flow running through the aquarium, then um, that'll definitely help them keep swimming and keep them happy as well.